Hello everybody, this is Karen from iLikeMyPhone.com and uh, uh, today is January 1st, 2009. Happy New Year everybody. Uh, 3G iPhone Unlock has just been released and I quickly wanted to demonstrate um, 3G Unlock uh, for some of my users um, uh, who are having trouble um, getting it to work. So uh, I have here um, a, a, a Rogers device uh, from Canada, so it definitely won't uh, show at and signal. So let, let's see, uh, let me quickly demonstrate that uh, this is a uh, Rogers phone. Let me insert an at and SIM, and I'm sure we're not going to get a um, signal here. So here's the at and SIM. And Let's see, Roger's iPhone, 16 gig. So, okay. So you don't see any uh, any signal um, in the top left corner here. So that proves that it's a Roger's device, and AD&D doesn't show, uh, doesn't pick up signal. So, okay. So Dev Team did a fantastic job uh, uh, unlocking all the baseband. So. You don't have to go by um, um, you don't have to go by uh, XSIM uh, like a turbo SIM, JV SIM. No, no proxy SIMs. Uh, it's illegal too. So let's let's uh, stay away from uh, all the SIM proxy SIM technologies. And uh, we have a software unlock. So uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. So uh, before we even go further, uh, the unlock they released is only for uh, 2.28 baseband that that means uh, the latest firmware so you get to keep all the new features for 2.2 and don't worry about any custom firmware um, no matter uh, on what platform you are on windows mac or any uh, only windows and mac platforms so um, all you have to do is the first step and the most important step uh, for this software unlock is um, you have to uh, we on 2.2 firmware and 2.28 baseband. So, um, so the first thing you should be doing is connect your iPhone to iTunes and get it up and running. Like hit the restore button or hit the update button to preserve all your settings from the previous firmware. It, they're already backed up anyway. So uh, get it up, get it to 2.2 uh, uh, via iTunes. Uh, download the official uh, Apple firmware. Don't worry about any other firmwares because um, this is going to work on 2.2 baseband, which I'm going to demonstrate shortly. So. So uh, if you take a look at it, uh, I am I don't have any signal, and uh, let me show you the baseband. Let's see what baseband and what firmware we are in. So um, uh, if you click on settings, general, and uh, about, we see that it's a it's a two point. I'm so sorry, my um, I am using a MacBook uh, Pro for. Uh, uh, shooting this video, I didn't really, I don't really have time for um, um, using a better camera. But well, that's a 2.28 baseband. I don't know if you can take a look at it, but you can trust me on this. Uh, 2.28 uh, works just fine uh, with the software unlock. So, so given that you are at 2.2, uh, you update your firmware to 2.2 via iTunes. Okay, that's the first step very important one and uh, once you're done with that all you have to do is jailbreak device jailbreaking a device is something that can be achieved uh, in a quick quicker manner uh, you don't have to really use pawnage anymore um, well if you want to build a custom firmware yeah but uh, for this for uh, all intentions and purposes all you have to do is uh, launch quick pawn Download QuickPawn, the latest version, uh, 2.2. Uh, uh, so far, uh, download QuickPawn 2.2 and uh, uh, install QuickPawn on both Windows, either Windows or uh, Macs. They both support 2.2 firmwares. So all you have to do is uh, jailbreak uh, your device and make sure that Cydia is installed on your iPhone. So Cydia is the software we are going to install. Software unlock. Uh, on your iPhone. 
So this software unlock is a pretty neat um, uh, software hack. Uh, so it's not going to void your warranty or anything like that. It can easily be uninstalled. All it does is it injects um, a few unlocking uh, steps while every while every time it, the iPhone boots. So so you don't really um, have to fear. And please don't spend uh, spend time and money uh, from other vendors. Uh, there are so many uh, vendors offering software unlocks for and they're even charging you a money uh, a price which is uh, ridiculous because it's totally free so uh, okay so so now that I'm on 2.2 I have to um, uh, quick pawn it I have a fresh 2.0 installation I don't have Cydia on it uh, Cydia is uh, an icon which should be um, Showing if you jailbroke your device using Quick Pawn. Uh, let me show you this icon. Cydia. So that's 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 the Cydia. Yeah, I think. Okay, so that's the icon we are looking for. So we have to jailbreak it. So I okay. So I'm. Running quick pawn uh, uh, to jailbreak my device. I'm on a Mac and I'm going to demonstrate it on Windows to uh, whenever I get some time. But uh, it's it's the same. Um, everything's the same actually. So uh, let's check quick pawn real quick.